Well, today we're going to talk about one of the great instruments of science, the Voyager spacecraft. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, the most distant human-made object, has achieved an extraordinary feat by venturing into interstellar space. Launched 45 years ago, it continues to explore regions of space it was never intended to reach, far exceeding its originally planned mission lifespan. This remarkable spacecraft, a testament to NASA's ingenuity, continues to send data back to Earth using technology that predates even cassette players. Despite its age and the limitations of its design, Voyager 1 recently made a discovery that has shaken the scientific community, captivating the world with its implications. The story of the Voyager missions began with a key moment in history when two of the most ambitious space exploration projects were conceived. Gary Flandro, a visionary scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, mapped an optimal route for spacecraft to reach the distant planets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Using just a pencil and his extensive knowledge, Flandro identified a rare celestial alignment in the late 1970s and early 1980s. This unique configuration, occurring once every 176 years, allowed spacecraft to use the gravitational forces of these planets to gain speed, effectively slingshotting their way through space. This phenomenon, known as a gravity assist, would reduce the journey time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12. Recognizing the opportunity, NASA acted quickly, launching two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977. What began as a mission designed to last four years has become an enduring odyssey. With both Voyager spacecraft still operational more than 45 years later, they continue to send back daily information from the fringes of our solar system, traveling far beyond what was initially imagined. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have become the most distant human-made objects, breaking all records in the history of space exploration. Their discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of the outer planets and the solar system's distant regions. During their early years, the Voyager spacecraft provided breathtaking close-up images and groundbreaking data about the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These revelations painted a picture of dynamic and active worlds far beyond what scientists had anticipated. The discovery of active volcanoes and vast ice fields on these moons challenged previous assumptions about their geologic activity. Voyager 2, in particular, was the first spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These historic flybys provided humanity's first detailed glimpses of these distant planets, revealing astonishing findings about their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and moons. As of today, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are over 14 billion kilometers from Earth, defying all expectations and continuing to push the boundaries of our knowledge. These spacecraft, roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, are equipped with technology that would seem primitive by today's standards. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than that of a modern smartphone, they rely on their onboard intelligence to navigate the complexities of space. Their instruments collect data, which is stored on tape recorders before being transmitted to Earth. Despite having only 23 watt transmitters, equivalent to the power of a household light bulb, the spacecraft have successfully communicated with Earth using 12-meter satellite dishes. The data they transmit takes over 18 hours to reach Earth due to their immense distance. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2's journeys have been fraught with challenges. After leaving Earth, they navigated the treacherous asteroid belt, a feat accomplished by only a few spacecraft before them. As they ventured farther, their increasing distance from Earth posed significant communication hurdles. Signals from the spacecraft had to contend with the growing background noise of modern technology, including radios, televisions, and cell phones. Despite these obstacles, the spacecraft have continued to surprise astronomers with their unexpected discoveries in the vast interstellar void. One of the most profound aspects of the Voyager missions has been their exploration of the heliosphere, the vast bubble of solar wind and magnetic fields surrounding our solar system. Beyond the heliosphere lies the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a region filled with comet-like objects held together by the sun's gravity and extending toward the nearest stars. 
The Voyager spacecraft are gradually approaching this distant realm, but their entry into interstellar space began when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium. Initially estimated to be about 50 astronomical units from Earth, the crossing of this boundary was a milestone moment for space exploration. The transition into interstellar space did not happen as scientists had predicted. While it was expected that the spacecraft would encounter an abrupt increase in cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling at nearly the speed of light, Voyager data revealed a more nuanced picture. Most of the high-energy particles were deflected by the heliosphere's magnetic shield, which protects our solar system from many external cosmic threats. Similarly, scientists had anticipated a significant change in the magnetic field's orientation as the spacecraft moved from a region dominated by the sun's influence to one shaped by other stars. However, Voyager's instruments detected no immediate change in the magnetic field, leaving researchers puzzled. It was on August 25th, 2012, that Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space. The spacecraft transmitted data confirming an increase in plasma density, one of the expected indicators of interstellar space, but without the anticipated changes in the magnetic field. This unexpected finding challenged existing theories about the nature of the boundary between our solar system and the interstellar medium. The Voyager missions have thus redefined our understanding of this transition zone, offering new insights into the structure and dynamics of the heliosphere. As the Voyager spacecraft continue their journeys, they provide invaluable data about the interstellar medium, a region composed of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. This environment, once thought to be empty, has proven to be a complex and dynamic space with implications for our understanding of the cosmos. The Voyager probe's findings have not only expanded our knowledge of the universe, but also highlighted the ingenuity and vision of the scientists and engineers who designed these remarkable spacecraft. The Voyager missions are a testament to humanity's enduring quest for exploration and discovery. They have provided us with a window into the vastness of space, revealing worlds and phenomena that were once beyond our imagination. As they drift ever farther from Earth, the Voyager spacecraft remind us of our place in the cosmos and inspire future generations to continue reaching for the stars. Their legacy will endure as a symbol of what is possible when human curiosity and ingenuity come together to explore the unknown. The Voyager spacecraft missions are not just technological marvels. They represent humanity's profound desire to explore, learn, and transcend boundaries. These twin explorers, launched over four decades ago, have reshaped our understanding of the universe and inspired countless dreams of what lies beyond. Even as they drift farther from Earth, their legacy grows, reminding us of the power of scientific curiosity and perseverance. One of the most inspiring aspects of the Voyager missions is their ability to continue functioning and sending data despite the immense challenges of their journey. At distances where sunlight is but a faint glimmer, these spacecraft operate on nuclear power generators using radioactive plutonium. This power source, though slowly diminishing, has allowed them to defy the limitations of time and technology. Over the years, NASA has carefully managed the spacecraft's power usage, shutting down non-essential instruments to ensure the longevity of their operations. It is a delicate balancing act one that has extended their mission far beyond its original scope and provided humanity with invaluable data about the cosmos. A remarkable feature of the Voyager spacecraft is the inclusion of the golden records, phonograph records containing sounds and images meant to represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth. These records are humanity's message to the stars, a symbolic gesture of our existence and our desire to connect with any intelligent life that might one day encounter them. The records include greetings in 55 languages, music from around the world, and natural sounds such as waves, thunder, and birdsong, encased in gold-plated covers with instructions for decoding their contents.